this year the All-Star Game is going to be in Cincinnati. I know that uh, the reports are you, you'll have a, hopefully a role uh, with that ball game. Talk about the emotions of a, well, of a Cincinnati uh, All-Star Game. First of all, I have a Cincinnati red hat on because the only guy in this country that's got worse hair than me is David Letterman. <laughs> so I figure I'll wear the hat. Okay. I know. Put it back on. I heard you. <laughs> Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench. Uh, the greatest catcher in the history of baseball, by the way. Uh, first of all, you have to understand, I was born in Cincinnati. Okay. I was a hometown guy. The ballpark's on Pete Rose Way. And, uh, but I must tell you, I haven't invi been invited to go to the All-Star Game. I hope to be. It would be, be a great moment for me. It would be a great moment for uh, Perez. It would be a great moment for Morgan and Bench and maybe Larkin and O'Neill, the guys that played on the 90 team. But I can't imagine the All-Star Game being played in Cincinnati without some mention of the Big Red Machine you know, because they all got statues at the ballpark. You know, Bench got his statue. Morgan got his statue. Uh, Perez is getting one this year. Uh, so maybe someday I'll get one. Uh, maybe someday uh, uh, Concepcion to get one. You know, it's, it's, it's like the Yankees. They're running out of numbers to retire. You know, so, but I, I hope to be a, a small part of a big deal. Uh, an all-star game in the city is a big deal. And the, the Cincinnati Reds are really taking it serious. And the last time I played in an all-star game in Cincinnati is when I hit Ray Fossey. Was you at that game, Noah, in 1970? No, I wasn't. Because Yaskrimski was MVP. He got four hits in that game. And people say, well, how, why'd you run into the catcher? It's an all-star game. There was 55,000 people at the game. And one of them was my dad. <laughs> you know, my dad would kick my ass if I didn't knock him on his butt. <laughs> I mean, I, he had the plate block, and I started to slide, and I couldn't slide, so I went over him, and I tagged the plate with this hand. And the reality of the situation was I missed the next three games to injury. He didn't miss any. He went on to play nine more years. But people in Cleveland, you know, people in Cleveland, they really think Cleveland's in Ohio. <laughs> Cleveland's in South Windsor, for Christ's sake. Yeah. But they, all, these, all these years, these people in Cleveland thought Cincinnati, uh, Ohio, was, was in Kentucky. We're just on the river. And if, and if I hadn't knocked him on his ass, no one would know who Ray Fossey is. <laughs> the wives would get their husbands. Who the hell is Ray Fossey? He's a guy who got in my way in the me all star game. <laughs> we won the game. We won the game. They lost the game. That's the way it's supposed to be. They win. We win. They lose. We win. They lose. Everybody in this room has got kids, grandkids, nieces, or nephews. You go to watch them play, whatever sport they play. Don't tell me you don't feel in a better mood on the way home if they win. <laughs> you do. When I was a kid and we'd, we'd, we'd lose, my dad wouldn't even stop to eat. <laughs> if we went into a team slump, it was like going to Jenny Craig. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> my, dad, my dad was a mean man, boy. He was aggressive, though. Well, Go ahead, Richard. Uh, oh, God. 